real quick before this begins guys this was a I don't even know I really shouldn't even make this video let's just say that very few fish were caught lots of strikes lots of misses but one very important thing I fished an area of the Smokies I'd never fished before and I got to see so many fish come up, look at the fly, refuse. So many took it. I fought them. They got off. Too bad the biggest fish, this fish had to go on about 15 inches. I got it to my feet, and the fly came out. I just could not seal the deal. But anyway, you'll see it in the video if you want it. But I'm just warning you, there's, there's, not, there's a lot of action. But there's very few fish unhooked. <laughs> but anyway... I'm going to tie me, and you'll see in the video, i to tie me some more terrestrials, like those little beetles right there. I hope you guys enjoy this. Again, I'll tell you, the biggest takeaway from here is perseverance <laughs> and our, our lunacy. And look at how beautiful the Smokies are. Also, Stay on it because there's scenes from the Blue Ridge Parkway. There's just a lot of, it's just some really beautiful water, guys. So enjoy the scenery and the fish strikes <laughs> and me getting very frustrated. Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try to catch some smallmouth again today. <laughs> Hopefully with better results than last time. I'm actually in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And I'm fishing one of the, a lot of the streams, the trout streams that flow out of the park in their lower reaches have some smallmouth. Is it worth fishing for them or not? I don't know. Are they overfished? I don't know. Will they take flies? I don't know. We're here to find out. By the way, I'm using the Sage RPL. It's a nine foot five weight. It's a fairly fast rod, but then I'm gonna be throwing Heavy stuff, some lead eyes. There we go. Oh, well, something hit it. Looked like about a seven, eight inch smallmouth. Try a little lefty's deceiver. Come on, it's a helpless minnow. A little perch, a little, I don't know, fill in the freaking blank. Oh, wait, there's a little bitty smallmouth. Guys, there's a smallmouth following this thing. And I don't know, I don't know if the smallmouth is as long as the fly or not. <laughs> I'd literally have to put them side by side. <laughs> See if that gets any better. Cause, oh, there you go. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Uh-uh. Oh my goodness, that was a smallmouth. Whoa. It's getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> oh shoot, one hit. I was good looking over there and one fell, felt the tug. <laughs> well, yep, we got off. Imagine a 10 inch small smallmouth. So this morning, my, my smallmouth trip went, went south. This is, guys, this is summer. This is end of July, okay? This is as tough as trout fishing gets right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a little bit, and I'm going to go upstream, this little creek, little tributary. It's higher elevation. The fish will be more susceptible. These will be small fish. Sorry, guys, it's going to be small fish. Great Smoky Mountains National Park, baby, is what I'm talking about. I'm in an area of the park I've never been before. I've never even driven down this road until today, until just now. It's terrestrial time if you're gonna do dries. I got this beetle with a little yellow marker on it so that you guys can see it and I, more importantly, I can see it. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, we'll see. It's a good size using the Orvis Silver Label nine foot four weight.
This is where that nine foot comes in. Keeps that fly line, that leader off the water. And that bug gets a really good drift. Not that it's helping me right now. Oh, he came up and looked at it. He came up and looked at it. Okay, pick off the hopper. Got a little ant pattern, a little indicator orange. It's not very bright, but maybe y'all can see it. I can barely see. Oh, 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 that wasn't a bad fish. Wasn't a bad fish, guys. That was. That was a small one. But that first one was not. Was, that was not bad fish. Oh, oh. Come on, these weren't bad fish. Dang, I hate this thing. Oh, I just watched him. I watched him come up. Get within inches, within inches of it. <laughs> oh my God. Man, that is the, that is the theme of today. Cannot keep a fish on to save my life. That's a better fish. Oh, no! No! Ah! Oh, it ain't happening. Ah! I'm somewhere around 5,000 feet elevation or higher. Should be some brook trout in here. Oh, wow. This is a Great Smoky Mountains misadventure. <laughs> am I gonna am I gonna be able to land a single fish? I do not know. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. I lose him. Yeah I did. He's flopping over there. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've caught a smaller trout. I do not believe I've caught a smaller trout ever in my life. Guys, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right there sums up my trip so far. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, ho, 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 ho. not bad, not bad. That was a that was for this size creek. That wasn't bad fish, guys. Oh, hold on. Oh, again, again. Came up and touched it and did not take it that time. Came up. He was on the other, he's under that rock and he came up, looked at it, and he ain't, he ain't taking it. I'll be dang. What in the world these fish want? This is insane. Fish in this small creek should not. Oh, he did it again. Got oh. Story of the trip. Right there. Had him on. Oh, he didn't come up and looked at it and turned it down again. Got to change flies. I ain't believing I'm changing flies on a creek this small. Usually it just doesn't matter. Just don't spook them. Get the fly on the water. Get a halfway decent drift. And you got it. No, I got to change flies in this small creek. Okay, I put on a little stone fly. What I've been using the past few months. Oh, he hit it. I was, I was looking elsewhere. Oh, Derek, you idiot. Oh, he came up and looked at it. He came up and looked at it. Dang. These fish are doing me wrong, dude. Oh, there you go. There goes again. Came up and looked at it. Came up and looked at it again. Oh my gosh. Fish, you killing me. It's like, man, this stone flies ain't hat. There you go. Oh, dang it, he touched it. Okay. I'm gonna go here with a little ant pattern. Got a little indicator on it so I can see it. Maybe y'all can see it. 
Ooh, he came up and looked at it again. Man, this is one picky small fish. Golly, I ain't believing this. Well, try another. I'm gonna <clears throat> try this next creek and see if I can get trout to come up and refuse my fly again. Going back with the ant pattern. <laughs> oh, wait, I hooked a fish. Son of a gun. I hooked a fish. Oh, watch, watch. I touched him. I touched him. I'm unhooking him. The first of the weekend. Nice little brown trout. Oh, I was picking it up and he took it. And then he started running around looking for it. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Things are back to normal. Back to the status quo. There's a really small brown trout. Oh, he come and come at it twice. I not only landed a trout, I landed two in the same pool. <laughs> ah, what a weekend. Okay, I'm going to go after that same fish that just refused me. With a hopper. Let me show it to you. I lost my green one. The chartreuse one. So I'm using this little buddy right here. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> hey. Well, that winds up the trip. A trip of a lot of missed opportunities. <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, I stayed in Townsend, Tennessee. That's where the, I stayed at Little River Campground. I stayed there. I fished that side of the park. Um, there's fish in there, guys. I'm telling you, yeah, it's 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 really. I I just got to I just at least I got to see just how many size. There's some good fish in there. Um, if you ever get a chance, go to the Smokies. Townsend was great. So I decided on the way back, why not go the Blue Ridge Parkway? I mean, guys, <laughs> ain't a whole. This is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But uh, so that's what I, that's what I decided to do. Come back to Parkway, and one thing I a shout out a shout out to Little River Outfitters in Townsend, Tennessee. Little River Outfitters. I went there. Uh, very nice, very knowledgeable staff. Uh, I asked them questions about places I had fished or was planning on fishing. They sh they gave me the straight dope. I even asked them some questions I already knew the answer to. <laughs> and they and and they were they were great. And they have the biggest the biggest fly tying material selection I've ever seen in my life. Uh, yeah, Little River Outfitters. If you want, if you want to lose a lot of money, go there. <laughs> they have, you know, they had, they had stuff that I wanted, you know. And that's not usually what happens when I go into a lot of fly shops. They just don't have what I wanted. They didn't try to sell me everything. They didn't try to sell me a guide trip. They didn't, you know. Anyway, just a shout out to them. It was a pleasure doing business with them and townsend is a great little place to stay it's not as not as touristy there's some decent restaurants uh the campground little river campground i stayed at was perfectly fine and uh, i had a great trip guys i had a fantastic trip even though i didn't get to practice my trout handling skills very much <laughs> anyway guys thanks for coming like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And hey, maybe one day, I'll see you in the Smokies. Later.
Someone's getting rained on. Guys, you never been on the Blue Ridge Parkway? Do yourself a favor. Get you a sports car, motorcycle, and hit the road. Oh man, my hair's a mess. Yeah, my hair's a mess. But my my air conditioner works really well. Anyway, <laughs> guys, come up here, man. It is beautiful. Well, it looks like I found the rain. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't see past 150 yards. Wow. This is kind of cool, though. <laughs> Trying to, trying to grasshopper because grasshoppers can work. Where did he get? Where did he get? Come <laughs> they can work. And again, I'm at my usual little bitty fishies. Will be rainbow. Very pretty rainbow, I might add. Oh, shoot! That wasn't a bad one for this creek. Yeah, here lately, I can't seal the deal. Save my life. <laughs> I make a really bad salesman. We're gonna have to let you go, Mr. Porter. You just, you just can't close. Oh, one looked at it. Yes, I'm actually casting this rod. This is my seven and a half. Oh no! Oh, the story of late. It just rained, fish. Expect all sorts of terrestrials got knocked in the water. Now a good time to eat a hopper. That's a great time to eat a hopper. You might have never even seen one. Oh, there he goes. No, 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 no. Oh, that man. Dang it. About like that first fish I caught. Uh-uh! What are these fish doing to me? It's a conspiracy, man. They're, they're, they got ham radios, man. They're calling each other from different states away. I'm convinced of it. <laughs> okay. I'm getting ticked off now. <laughs> I'm beginning to think... I'm using 5X tippet. I'm beginning to think I might need to go to a lighter tippet. Oh no, the same thing with the ant. What's wrong with you fish? I think it is a tippet size. That ant was so hard to see. I'm going for a little yellow stone fly. And I got 7X on. Oh, 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 you did not. Oh no, you didn't. Oh yeah, he did. Well, actually he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it don't matter what I do. Oh man, went to the light tippet. Several different flies. Dang. Should be one right here. <laughs> and there was. <laughs> In the same outcome. I just missed one. Same thing. Came up, he broke, he broke the wall. Oh, oh no, the tippet had gone around the, around the wing. Ah, ah, killing me, killing me. Oh, another one. That's three, that's three hits out of this little bitty nothing pocket. Okay, I'm going. A little sulfur tied very realistically. Oh, 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 he come up and he looked at it and said, No, <laughs> do I stink or something? Maybe my hands have a bad smell. Oh, another one. Y'all gotta stop this. Holy. 
these fish are freaking killing it. And so it continues. The, I can't seal the deal. Oh, another one, nice one right there. That was not a bad fish at all. Okay, going with the beetle. And I ain't even bothered putting floated on it. Cause I'm tired of getting flies all tied on and foot floating on them and it doesn't matter. <laughs> I could have had about eight fish by now. Yeah. Yeah. Even even some of them I'm sure rose twice. But even even accounting for for a handful of those. Man, I should have had about eight or nine fish. And I ain't been here an hour and a half yet, I don't think. Hard to tell. Hard to tell what time it is because time flies when you're frustrated. Oh, uh. no way this is going to make a video. <laughs> oh, he should have been right there. He should have been right there. He should have been right there. Now I can't see him. Where's my fly at? Oh, the one arm came up and hit it. Dang it. Well, I know this, but I ain't gonna catch fish. I might as well not catch fish on the fly. I can see. Let's miss some more fish, shall we? <sighs> oh, man. Guys, one, one and a half inches, maybe. One and a quarter. Oh, uh-uh. That one moved water. That wasn't a bad trout. That was not a bad trout, man. Same thing. It doesn't matter what I do. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Golly, that wasn't a bad one either. Dang it. That was a nice trout. I give up for this creek. I might go, I just, why, am I, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Ain't no way I can make a video out of this. Okay, finally, no, no big prize, but I'm actually going to unhook this one. Rainbow. Oh, <laughs> that was the biggest fish of the day. That was almost a 12 incher, guys. That may have gone 12 inches. Oh. He broke it off. What did I do wrong? Oh man. I'm going back with a very small hopper. Very small hopper. Oh, one looked at it. Oh, well, he more than looked at it. He came from way over too. Come on, fish. Take the ding claw, man. They're killing me. They're flat out and out killing. Oh, he swirled. He swirled at it. And he, he hit the tippet. His tail hit the tippet. It drug the fly under just a little bit. Or it stopped the fly. It's funny. Uh-uh, don't you go after my grasshopper. It'll get you on. Where'd you see that? Ah. Uh. This is in, this is maddening. This is maddening. I like that one, but this one a little bigger than that first one. Oh, come on! There you go. Well, imagine a six-inch rainbow trout, guys. But at least I touched the fish. I touched that fish. <laughs> wow, Derek, that's really great. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I've never, I've, I've, it's never, I've never seen it this bad. Number of strikes, number of refusals, and no, I mean, I've never, I've never, ever in my life, ever, 